Okay, so um, just running out to uh, Terry Wright Cycles, um, picking up some more bike lights for the uh, end of your group test. Uh, they're supplying some cat eye uh, lights, which is quite cool. So we should have enough lights now to have a really uh, comprehensive test. We're going to have some flashing lights and some commuter lights and some mounted bike lights. So that's very cool. Unfortunately, we did try to get some other companies involved, but you know, uh, Terry Wrights are always very good at coming to uh, the rescue just as you need them. So I really appreciate their support. And uh, yeah, going to pop to Ben, pick up some lights, and still waiting on exposure. Come on, exposure, get those lights posted. And once they're in, we are ready to properly go full pelt at this 2016 bike light group test. Um, I just need exposure to pull their finger out and send them through. I'm really desperate for those lights. Um, it's not like you get to keep them all. Most of them are going to go back. Um, but at the same time, to really make it a comprehensive group test, we need to get as many lights in as possible. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. And um, see you later. Okay, so I have just spent... Uh, best part of a few hours just um, filling out an Excel spreadsheet with bike light prices, uh, claimed outputs and uh, run times and that sort of stuff ready for the unboxing videos, um, putting everything on a test rig and then actually testing those claimed run times. I will only test them in high because uh, to be fair, end all body got down for that. Uh, some of these run times they go into like 30, 40 hours, uh, 48 hours, so I'm not going to sit a camera on a light for two days waiting for the battery to die. Uh, but I think testing it on, on high for a few hours is, is acceptable. So, yep, yeah, that's the sort of thing I'll be doing this afternoon, this evening, just spreadsheets and, and things like that. And, yeah, categorising everything. So we have books of MTB lights. I've got some commuter lights and rear tail lights spread around the desk and I've got still some lights to come from exposure, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so now it is 8.30 and I'm going to go for a bike ride. I'm going to put these surface lights on my bike so I can just get to grips with them myself. This one's... 1100 lumens apparently. I'll take a backup light out with me just in case anything fails, but I doubt it will. But just gonna go out on the road bike for about 14, 15 miles, blow off some steam, and then uh, go to bed and do it again tomorrow. Yay! Bye. So there we go, just been rattling through a few videos. This is my uh, current rig at the moment. That's me and my fingers out the way. I'm not used to using selfie camera believe it or not. So I've got these two uh, lights up here which help light this up. It's one thing um, I've realised and also had the most criticism for is poor lighting. I've got a nice, uh, this is a Rode mic stand and a Beast Grip uh, phone holder and I've got a um, Borky, I think it's called, a uh, wide angle lens uh, bolted on the bottom there. There we go. So that's my rig, and that's actually attached to uh, my windowsill. So if I knock the desk, this doesn't rattle. Got an extra light there if I need it. Using a Zoom H1 now, because also the audio really needed improving. The iPhone, if you use it right, um, it's okay. So just trying to improve everything else. So the audio was a bit crap. The footage was a bit crap because of lighting, so just trying to improve everything. Rout through half a dozen lights just then, and um, more to do, but that's just kind of like the overview videos, and once those overview videos are done, we've pretty much cracked it, and uh, then the lights can go out to um, my mates for testing, and then we get the fun part, which is the group test video, so we get to hang out, ride bikes, shoot some video, and that'll be the cool bit. So. Crap bit first, boring bit first, and then it will just improve. So 
I've now got to get home. I'm already 10 minutes late for the wife and she's going to be peed off because she really wanted to get a gym session in. So I will speak to you uh, later. Let's turn these off. Bye. Yeah, a plus bike, briefly. I'm going to go on that. At, uh, thank you. It's all right. See you at the next one. Bye. So, darling. It's all right. Thank you. It's all right. Keep on going. <laughs> shut out when you're the last one. So I'll just shut Next the gate one. without looking. Last one, mate. Last one. You promise? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, last part of the blog for this week. Um, all of my shooting for the commuter lights is finished. Um, everything's being compiled and organized and it's all on the computer and filed up into its uh, specific light folder because uh, if you don't keep these sort of files organized it'll just be impossible to find the right um, file when you come to editing. I've uh, already taken over 88 uh, videos um, you know, of varying lengths just to yeah and there's also audio tracks and stuff like that because I'm doing voiceover tracks for them and that's just the desktop um part of the um group test so yeah it's it's just an overview videos and then it goes on to the fun part of the group test but yeah already we've done 88 videos and there's a lot of content there so uh we're off to a good start we're probably uh on schedule next stage is the runtime tests and those runtime tests will, and uh nighttime running videos will all go into the uh, main group test so don't expect to see any uh, nighttime video shooting yet on these uh, desktop videos. They're just literally an overview of the light, the modes, the expected run times, and how to mount it on the bike. That is it. And uh, yeah, next stage is the uh, actual riding, riding at night with them, seeing what they look like at night, and seeing if they actually hit their predicted run times. Okay, so um, have a good weekend, guys. And I will see you maybe next week if I keep on vlogging. I don't know. We'll see. Bye.